Kyle Mohan Racing. We've got some RX-8 ported and lapped housings that we're just wrapping up some work on. And I get a lot of questions about RX-8 porting, RX-8 lapping, when I think it's necessary, uh, what I think the benefits may be. And so I have the opportunity with these on the bench right here to talk a little bit about that. So we're gonna cover some RX-8 porting and lapping, little tech talk, Kyle Mohan Racing, and basically my opinion on this stuff. So these housings came in and they were absolutely uh, dirty, burned, used up. I think a lot of people don't really understand that the point of lapping or resurfacing side housings is to bring back housings that may have not had another chance at running. If you've got a perfectly good set of housings with very little miles on it, I'm probably not going to recommend lapping. These particular housings had warpage around the exhaust ports, uh, water damage, corrosion, and substantial wear, and some burn marks. I don't know what happened to them in their lifespan, but they were basically used up. With the process of lapping, we were able to bring them back within their tolerances and give them a second opportunity to do something amazing. And with these, we did a nice little street port. A lot of people ask about RX-8 porting. Realistically, the porting gains on an RX-8 are not as great as the porting gains on an RX-7. However, I still recommend RX-8 porting if the motor is already a part. I would not take apart a good running car, a good running RX-8 to port it, the gains aren't there. But if, hey, the motor's a part, you're already doing a substantial work on it, you know it's a performance-based build, then absolutely street port it, half bridge it, bridge port it, we're always working on new port designs here at KMR and Mazda Tricks. It's going to benefit from better airflow. Rotary motors are no different than a piston motor. The better airflow you get, both on intake and exhaust, the better the motor can perform. It's a well-known fact that RX-8s suffer from poor exhaust flow. I mean, in their OEM trim, they work fine. But even in this case, I don't know exactly what this motor did in the past, but you had shrinkage around these exhaust ports, so the lapping was able to smooth that out. And then by porting our exhaust areas, even though it's a minimal amount of change, it's still a significant increase in the ability for the motor to displace its exhaust heat. And that's what it's all about, getting exhaust heat out of the RX-8 motor. So... There's uh, some basic ideas. I mean, obviously, uh, with the street ports, whether it's a KMR, um, Racing Beat, um, there's a few different options out there. They are increasing the duration of your six-port opening, so you're getting more volume and more duration. Um, same thing on your primary port, more duration, more volume. And then with your exhaust, you're getting a, a slightly slightly earlier and slightly more flow available, which is only going to help the motor last longer, breathe better, and perform better. Now, always make sure, hey, I'm usually talking about uh, you know, hot rod stuff, make sure to check your local smog laws. I do know that some of these street ports do pass smog, but before you modify your car, always make sure you're falling within the limits or the liabilities of what you wanna do. But I think street porting is a great option. RX-8s love to be ported, just like any other rotary motor. And in this case, lapping these housings gave them a second chance. They're not gonna get nitrited, they're not gonna get WPC treated. They're going to go out there, have some fun, probably last, who knows, over 50,000 miles, 70,000 miles if it's in normal use. And uh, if they're going to be a race motor, I don't know where these are going, then I mean, who has a race motor that goes that long? This has been a little bit of a, a KMR opinionated tech talk on uh, RX-8 housings. Make sure to ask those questions. That's where a lot of these, uh, these little talks come from. Make sure to follow KMR, and if you're interested in porting templates, make sure to check out that KMR website. That's it. Rotary, I'm out.